Kent's chances of making it into the knockout stage of the NatWest T20 Blast were dealt a severe blow when they went down at home to Hampshire by six wickets with 16 balls unused. Joe Denley was out to the third ball of the game, cutting a ball that bounced from Liam Dawson to Kyle Abbott. Sam Northeast and Daniel Bell Drummond got the board ticking over, taking the total to 40 by the end of the six overs of power play. Only to then lose Bell Drummond for 24 in the eighth over, as he had his off stump flattened by Abbott. That left the Spitfires on 48 for two, but Northeast remained, and by hook or by crook, he helped carry the total to 61 for two at the halfway stage, a sluggish opening 10 overs, leaving much to do. Kent had to wait until the start of the 13th over for their first six, Sam Billings clearing the rope off Mason Crane. Northeast then completed his 17th T2050 with his seventh four, taking him to his mark of 37 balls. But having got to 59, he holed out off Dawson, leaving with his side on 114 for three in over number 15. Next ball, Billings did what Northeast was trying to do, but he too was soon back in the hutch for an enterprising 40, running a ball from Chris Wood onto his own stumps. Darren Stevens entered the fray, slicing his very first ball for a maximum, only to then be run out by Crane for 15 as he stuttered before coming back for his second run. Kent now on 144 for five in the 18th. Three balls later and Jimmy Neesham was well held by James Vince off a firm drive. Kent then had to settle for a final score of 167 for seven. Matt Coles the last to fall as he turned Gareth Berg to Shida Freedy. Hampshire then sprinted out of the blocks in pursuit of their target. Neesham's first over cost 15 runs as Calvin Dickinson, playing in only his second T20 match, took him on. The 20-year-old South African then took Imran Kayoum for 15 runs, with his first six included, before he went big again off Coles to race to 47 of 22 balls inside the first four overs, his partner Vince having scored only four runs off two deliveries at this stage. When he finally got some strike, Vince too hit the ball very well, taking Caillou for successive sixes, as Hampshire looked to get the game won as quickly as possible to improve their net run rate. The partnership was ended on 72, Dickinson holding out to Coles off Mitch Claydon, his 51 runs occupying only 24 balls. After such a rampaging start, things started to quieten down, but Vince still reached his half century off 31 balls with his third maximum. The visitors needed only 17 from five and a half overs when Tom Alsop was smartly stumped by Billings for 32. Afridi followed in the next over, bowled round his legs by Stevens, and then Vince was bowled off his pads by Claydon on 57. But George Bailey soon finished the game off, a drive through the covers taking Hampshire to their target with plenty of time to spare. The defeat sends Kent to the bottom of the South group table and they now must win their three remaining games, the next of which follows immediately against Somerset in Taunton.